Hello, I'm W3UE and I want to show you my HF mobile setup using a loop antenna uh, made from materials obtained locally as well as over the internet and uh, with ideas obtained over the internet. This is a very high efficiency antenna, has about three times the efficiency of a uh, 10 foot uh, pole on the car with resonators and automatic antenna tuners. So without further ado, here it is. This is the loop and uh, you can see two loops actually. The main loop is made of copper foil around a foam core with a, actually a plastic hula hoop inside and it's attached uh, via coax. Uh, you can see the coaxial cable going up to the uh, to the exciter loop and then the main loop is just a tuned circuit. Uh, the loop is tuned by a capacitor inside called a vacuum variable capacitor. The vacuum variable capacitor does the tuning and this capacitor does the fine tuning because this is a very coarse this is the coarse tuning and this is the fine tuning here. As you can see all high, all copper, high current uh, RF loads are put on this up to 7,000 volts, uh, 70 amps as well. Here is the rig sitting uh, as the exciter, a Yezu 857 Delta. And as we walk around the car you can see the HF mobile loop here. And as we go into the car, so here's the rig. The rig is tuned two ways. First way is through this. This controls the automatic antenna tuner. And uh, so I tune it this way. You can see how it tunes it in. So I get the peak signal there. And then I tune it with the fine tune capacitor. and I get the maximum signal strength. So I've installed this in my 2000 Honda Insight which gets about 72 miles per gallon. Excellent car. What's even more incredible about this is that I can lower this antenna to go into the garage. So you'll see as I lower this antenna I can lower it to go into the garage. So now the antenna and the car can fit in the garage without hitting. The catch mechanism for this I designed myself and that's the catch mechanism right there. And as you can see the pole retracts and I'll see if I can show you that. So the pole goes up like this. And clicks in there. And now our antenna is raised again for further use. So one of the flaws with this antenna is the copper foil that I used tends to crack as the antenna flexes down the highway. It does flex a little bit and uh, that flexing causing some cracking here. The antenna still functions but it's not going to handle the high current and here's the whole rig set up. I've contacted stations in Italy, all over the United States, uh, Virgin Islands, and it's a very efficient setup and uh, does a nice job. Here's the feed system that handles all the current. Uh, due to the skin effect, uh, it's a very high current system and uh, up to 70 amps and uh, up to 7,000 volts. So all the tuning is done underneath the car, as you can see here. Here's the vacuum capacitor from eBay with its high current copper cables. It's a, a double aught welding cable that I used that goes right up to the roof to feed the antenna. And then here's the control circuitry and drive motor for the variable capacitor. When the antenna is retracted, 
for putting in the garage. Uh, there, as you can see, the roof has been modified with a large hole to accommodate this with the rubber seal, with a uh, silicon rubber seal here. So this is flexible so that it seals fairly well. Still get a little bit of water in the car, but it still functions. And here's a picture of the car in the garage. Thanks for listening from W3UE Pottstown, Pennsylvania.